I welcome to Mobile World Congress. I'm Patrick Mannion. I'm joined by Christian Hoff. Hello. And Christian's going to give us a quick demonstration of how Rodian Schwartz is doing with regard to IP comm security. What's going on, Christian? Hello. Um, we show here today new levels, uh, new measurements for IP connection security testing. We have designed uh, a new measurement option for the CMW 500 where we analyze the communication behavior of mobile devices, Internet of Things devices, car telematic units. That they communicate on a secure level to the Internet. Um, we have here today a, a demo setup where we um, have connected a car telematic unit to the CMW 500. The CMW 500 is acting as base station emulator. Right. We um, simulate a 3G cell and the CMW 500 is connected to the Internet. So the device feels like it would be in the real internet and we monitor all the communication of the device under test using a deep package inspection software from our uh, daughter company, Rodin Schwarz Cybersecurity. With this deep package inspection software, we have the possibility to analyze key performance indicators, um, monitor or uh, verifying um, the IP connection security. We have here, for example, features like IP geolocation, so we know where are the servers based in the world, this device has a communication started. We have features like that we can detect the applications running on the device under test. We can see which type of protocols is used, are used, if the communication channel is encrypted or not encrypted. So that's showing us here now that actually WeChat has no security. Yeah, and we yeah. can see, for example, Google, Google is here doing a very good job. They have secured their communication channels. We can, we can, we can also see the details um, of this uh, SSL handshakes. So, for example, which protocol is used uh, to, to secure the communication channel, which cipher suites are used, and also we have the information about the use certificates, um, the ID card of the servers in the internet. Very nice, yeah. So, who would use this then? Um, mainly, uh, it's focused for network operators. They can, uh, for example, test and certify devices uh, before they are used in the network. Developers can use these tools to verify the security uh, implementation of their device or test houses. They also can use it for uh, certification tests of Internet of Things devices. The intention of the solution is to make the Internet of Things more secure, that the uh, uh, Internet of Things devices use uh, proper standards uh, to communicate on a secure level to the Internet. So you can test your final product before at least, or, or I guess before you give it a stamp of approval, you can make sure that as you pull, as you pull parts together that are supposedly secure, you can test the final assembly of the product and the software to make sure it's using the right protocols at the right time, right? Exactly. This is what a developer can do. If we had put everything together, they can verify um, before they bring the device into production um, if everything is in a proper shape that the device uh, secu uh, uh, communicates on a secure level to the internet. And malware, maybe check for malware and bad upgrades and old upgrades. Of, of course, such kinds of things uh, could be also detected. We have a port scan feature there. You can uh, detect if you have open ports, maybe uh, open by malware or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, these kinds of things could be also detected, for example, in the IT department, if they are interested, if there is some spyware or malware uh, running on the device, they can also use these kind of tools. This is great stuff. Thanks, Christian.